All right, kids, here we are again, shooting on the uh, ZTE Exxon M. So the best camera I got, mostly because it shoots an MP4. Uh, that's the pretty much best way to upload files to YouTube. And we'll eventually put this out as a 720p. 25 frames a second video but right now we're shooting at 30 on this so we're going to have to compress this intro down and i'm going to tell you how to do that and we're going to go over it and i'm going to compress this section down i'll tell you what it was before and then we'll look at what it will be after let's get to that now let's do the intro All right, folks, I'm back, and uh, we're shooting this in OBS Studio, which I've already set to 720p at 25 frames a second. I'm going to show you how to take that intro that's right here. It's 60.2 megabytes currently, correct? All right, let's just get that sucker out of the way. We're going to go up here to handbrake. And we're going to, this is kind of a, probably a two-step procedure, but we'll get her done here if I can get handbrake to start. There we go. We're getting handbrake fired up. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's free. The link will be in the description below. Uh. Big Arrow coming up. Read the description below. Anything I talk about will be in the links below. And uh, here we go. We're going to open the file. It's going to ask us, you know, where the hell is that? So we're going to go in here. And, uh, uh, here we go. Handbrake Secrets. There's the intro. We're going to open that. We're going to pull it in. There it sits. Now, what are we going to choose? We're going to go up here to our general presets and we're going to do very fast 720p 30. All right, now. You're like, oh, well, what good is that going to do you? Ah, uh, let's watch. Now, first off, we're going to check off Web Optimized. We're going to lower the bit rate down to 128. Not a big deal. Uh, we're going to lower the video rate down to yeah, 25 frames a second. And... The constant quality is set to 23. Not fantastic, but it's really not going to hurt the video much at all. And then we're going to hit save as. And the way I just do this stuff is I add a. We're going to do this at two, you know, using 264 or X264. You could do it at 265, but you're going to be in a whole different speed zone there. 264 is fine. Hit save. That's what we're going to save it as. So, let's hit it, and then we're going to look and see what happens. Now, normally, it could take a long time, but as you can see, it's uh, down here, hauling butt. Right now, we're doing 14, 15 frames a second, which is pretty quick, and it says we've got about... 55 seconds left. That ain't bad, folks. That ain't bad at all. And now we're going to see what we've compressed the initial piece down to. Obviously, we're not going to have to compress OBS down that we're recording on because I got it set to shoot at 25. 
And we're going to drop these in the open shot. And it's going to make them all bigger. But we're going to come back one more time when it's all done. And compress the whole damn thing using just fast compression. A large be at 25 hertz. <coughs> and we'll see how it works out. So we got nine seconds. This is going to be really quick. Eight, four. And it's going to say Q finished any second now. Kaboom, we're done. So we'll minimize our open shot there. And we'll go back in here and look in our folder. Now we had 60. What do we got now? 8.46 meg. Let's uh, watch a couple of seconds of that and see how it looks here in Windows. All right, kids, here we are again. Shooting on the uh, ZTE XMM. It's still the best camera I got, mostly because it shoots in MP4. So, as you can see, it looks just as good as. Uh, the original. Well, you're never going to see the original, but trust me, no reduction in quality, no blurriness. So, step two, we're going to drop this file and the handbrake file into OpenShot. And uh, we'll go from there. And we'll export those as a HD 720 1280 720 at 25 frames a second and then we'll look at the total size of it and it's going to get increased in size but because we've already compressed it once uh it's going to get mighty small so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then show you what I ended up with at the very end of this. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Well, hmm. Now we're going into the conundrum. I'm going to have to tack on. No, we're going to make this one long segment. So. When we're done with this, I will come back with one last segment. It will have been included into the video already. You're just not going to see the recording as I do it. You're just going to have to trust me on that. And you'll see the final results from compressing the whole damn thing down to uh, what we're going to finally end up with and it's going to be a whole hell of a lot smaller than you would think you know as you compress first get her down to 25 frames a second and then you go into open shot do your editing and it won't get as big and then when we compress it again we'll just use the very fast which gives you a little bit higher quality and we'll still have to change the uh, audio codec over to AAC, web optimize it, etc. But let's not worry about that right now. Let's get to the next step. All right, folks, here we are. We're back in OBS studio just to give you the second segment uh, this one's gonna be a little longer than the first time I shot it but we're still gonna keep the video a whole lot shorter because I cut out all that time where you keep hearing me going huh and then you know struggling for breath I'm really sick I'm due to get a pacemaker replaced very soon that's neither here nor there don't worry about that but just to let you know in the first time we did this, the first iteration, we ended up with 622 meg. But when we went back and compressed it using general 
very fast. We ended up with 50 at the end. So make sure at the end of this video you check and look and see the numbers available in the description below. Big arrow. And then uh, if you found this informative, helpful, if this is a program you have a use for, hopefully this is helpful. In that case, subscribe to the channel. Give it a little bell icon on the uh, actual channel page. A, uh, you know, select it and then give us a like or a dislike. We don't care. And leave some feedback. How does that sound? It should sound good. And that's all we're going to have for tonight. A lot shorter than the first one. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.